Hey guys, it's Siobhan with Takiti and Beyond. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be just a quick energy update as we approach the 8-8 Lion's Gate tomorrow on August 8th. So this portal um, has been open for a little while now. You may have been feeling it leading up to this and building up to this. We've been talking about this energy for the past week or so, if not longer. We've experienced consecutive energetic waves from various different influences. We had that super black moon um, at the end of July, beginning of August. We had the galactic activation portal for the galactic new year at the uh, end of July. We had um, several other, you know, we had full moons and new moons. We always have something going on, but this lion's gate is particularly intense and these energy waves that have been coming in and, and spiking the Schumann resonance and frequencies that we're feeling physically, emotionally, mentally, all of these symptoms that we're having are correlated to these waves of energy. So you may have been feeling it. I've been talking about these symptoms for a while now, especially as it relates to emotional and karmic purging of our past. That's very much also tied to Mercury coming out of that shadow period uh, that it's been in at the end of Mercury retrograde. But going forward, we are ex going to experience the peak tomorrow on August 8th for the Lionsgate portal, but it won't finish until about the 12th or 13th or thereabouts. Um, and we also have the peak of the Perseids meteor shower on the 12th and 13th, which is what I've been talking about for a while, because as these meteors come in, they're bringing light codes and frequencies as well. So there's a lot going on energetically. And I've been talking a lot about self-care, so that's going to be really important at this time, um, whatever that means to you. So this can be mental, emotional, physical, or spiritual self-care, preferably all of them, because we need balance in all areas of our lives. So yesterday, I went down to the ocean. I needed a little bit of time to connect with the earth, and I find that when I'm around water, that really helps to ground me particularly because I am a water sign. So as a Pisces, I'm drawn to the ocean, I'm drawn to lakes, rivers, creeks, anything, anything with flowing water. And as I was sitting by the edge of the water, I was watching the waves come in and I was noticing something about the way that the waves made land. So as they were crashing up onto the shore, they don't necessarily all hit at the same time. So it's not like there's one steady wave and it all hits at the same time. It was almost like there was different waves coming from different trajectories, depending on which direction they were facing and how that related to the angle of the shoreline. So all of these different waves were sort of hitting at different times. And there was different frequencies, different, different levels of waves, I should say, where there was you know, small waves that didn't make as much of an impact on the sand. And then there were much larger waves and you could see the larger waves coming from further away. So this to me very much correlates with the types of waves that we're experiencing energetically. As these photonic uh, and plasmic waves come in, they, they hit the planet in different locations. And this was something that actually was brought up to me. And now I'm putting the pieces together because I love how we are all angel messengers for each other you know it's not like one person holds all the answers we all hold little pieces of the puzzle and when we come together that's when we can understand the whole so thank you alana fox starks who has um a podcast so i'll give a shout out to her for her anchor um, metaphysical podcast and i'll leave a link to that below and I just want to say thank you for bringing this to my attention. So she was telling me in a comment under um, one of the energy update videos that I made recently that the the Schumann Resonance in HeartMath Institute has been a lot more active than the Schumann Resonance recordings over at uh, Disclosure IT News. So I went and checked out HeartMath Institute and it's fascinating because they have all of these different locations and all of the different locations are experiencing different frequencies uh, on the Hertz scale of uh, resonance. So they have California, Saudi Arabia, Lithuania, Alberta, Canada, New Zealand, and South Africa. So I'm in BC, which is right next to Alberta. So I checked on what's going on there. And of course, all of these frequencies have been off the charts 
in the days that we've been experiencing these really intense, intense shifts. So I recommend checking on HeartMath Institute. I'll leave the link in the description box below as well so that you can find out where um, in closest proximity you are to one of some of these areas that they have posted here. So it was interesting because the Schumann Resonance on Disclosure News IT is more of an overall resonance for the entire earth. So it's that that overall frequency that we're at. And I think today we're at 19 hertz, which is still fairly high. It's up from a base of 7.83 hertz. And that, but that doesn't necessarily reflect the, the severity and the intensity that some of us have been feeling very subjectively. So that gave me some context here as to why these fluctuations feel so different for so many different people. It's because these waves are hitting in different intensities in different locations at different times. So let's all take that into account. And I'm, I'm really grateful to Alana for uh, pointing that out. And then it was interesting because I uh, was emailing back uh, Robin, shout out to Robin and her sister, um, and we were talking about this, these waves and, and how we've been handling them and how sometimes they, we really feel like our butts are been, being kicked by them, and that's completely normal. And then she, she was saying that she's, you know, a little bit hesitant about how, about the big wave, but ultimately that she knows it's going to be best for our, our ascension. And I agreed. I've had those hesitations as well. It's a, a little bit of fear that comes up when I'm like, okay, if these waves are that intense, what's it going to be like when the big tsunami wave hits us? How are we going to be able to handle that? But then it's about bringing yourself back into that place of trust, bringing myself back into that place of trust and knowing that we have all the time that we need. And we're going to be prepared for it when it comes. So then as I was typing back the response in that effect, I received some channeled information. My guides were showing me a beginner learning to surf. So when the beginner learns to surf, they can barely stand up on the surfboard, let alone ride a wave. And then when they do st start to be able to hit little tiny waves, you know, they fall off a lot. They get tossed around. It's completely normal. It's completely natural. It's just the beginning stages. And everybody, every master surfer has to go through those stages. Nobody gets on a surfboard right off the bat and knows exactly what they're doing. So then I was shown this master surfer after a period of, of advancement. This master surfer is surfing these massive, massive swells with ease and joy. It's, it becomes natural, it becomes second nature, it, and it becomes easier. And so this is a lot of the information that I've been picking up on through my higher self. And, and my higher self has been confirming to me that as these waves progress and as they get, get bigger and more intense, it's actually going to get easier rather than more difficult. And that is because in these stages that we're in right now, we're very much still purging a lot of the lower stuff. We're still counteracting a lot of the, the, the healing, or rather I should say the trauma, um, and the underlying stuff that needs to come up within our past lives, our genealogy, and within the collective. So this is a lot of stuff that's coming up to be seen, to be felt, to be healed. And it's very 3D. But we are being transported up and out of 3D by our consciousness, by our awareness, by these these boosts of energy that come in and as we purge as we release we're going to get lighter and lighter like that balloon the analogy of the balloon that I said in one of my um, videos where as soon as you drop all of the weights off of the bottom of the balloon it just naturally rises so we're going to naturally rise and as these waves get stronger and more potent we're actually going to be able to ride them more easily so it seems counterintuitive but as we get better, it gets easier, right? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I think that's going to be it for today. So thank you to Alana and Robin for contributing to this um, energy update.
I love you guys. Thank you so much. If you'd like to book a personal uh, Reiki session with me or a tarot reading for some guidance, if you're feeling really overwhelmed, if you're feeling lost at a crossroads, or um, if your energy is just feeling all out of whack, the Reiki sessions and the tarot readings can really assist you with that. So um, all of the information will be in the description box below. If you're watching this on Higher Self, please just click over to my original video on my channel and the description box there will have all of the information as well as the links. All right guys i love you thank you so much for watching and for listening for supporting the channel um, thank you for liking sharing subscribing if you'd like to hear more of these energy updates please just hit the little bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you get all of the uh, new info as it comes out thank you so much love you guys bye